Hello, uh, my name is Maria Ramirez. I'm the convener of the Diploma of Information Technology at Griffith College. Uh, first of all, my background, I have um, a lot of teaching experience. I have been teaching here at the college for over 20 years in the area of mathematics and also information technology. And um, I'm, I have also come from the area of information technology myself, graduating in computer science majors and mathematics a long, long time ago. Now, my role as a convener here at the college is to look after the students and the staff that are involved with this particular course or um, diploma. So uh, students, um, uh, here we have a set of teachers that are really dedicated to our students. They also have a lot of uh, experience in industry. All of them, most of them uh, work in industry and um, they can talk to you about all of the current trends and things that are happening out there, which is really important for our students. Our classrooms are small and students get to know each other quite well over the two or three trimesters that they spend with us. My role as a convener is to, as I said, uh, look after you and also all our staff. We have a lot of staff to help our students with the transition whilst they're here and also as they go into university. We have a lot of uh, student services, uh, student counsellors, um, uh, myself and also your teachers, as I've said. Now, if um, you have any issues and you want to talk about any of those things um, and you don't find anyone else to talk to, you can also come and see me. I'm just the extra person that you can come to see at any time. Uh, just make an appointment or just give me a call or send me an email and you can um, find me very quickly. That way I usually reply quite quickly. Um, the Diploma of Information Technology at the college can be done in two different ways. We can do it over um, two trimesters or you can do it over three trimesters, but a full load is two trimesters. So during the two trimesters, you will be doing courses like uh, learning how to write properly for academic and both industry. Um, you will be learning how to program with some easy programming languages. You will also be learning how to produce reports for projects since um, a lot of the software development cycle is based on um, a lot of project management uh, tasks and skills. So you will, do, you will be starting to develop some of those skills in your first trimester. And you will also be involved in developing web um, pages and designing web pages and making them come live and see your work out there. So straight away we put you to work in, in the areas of um, information technology. Now keep in mind information technology is a really broad term. So um, there are just so many th different things that you can do. Now in the second trimester, we will um, expose you to software development. So you will be doing some more programming, but developing things like applications and um, little games, all that sort of stuff. You will also be learning a lot about computer networks and um, security and um, all of the computer science stuff that every uh, information technology student should know. We will be also looking at human computer inter interaction, so basically how to design good interfaces so people can then use computers effectively for their everyday work. And you will also be taken into another uh, another course called Introduction to Information Systems, basically exposing you, exposing you to what you need to know um, in the area of businesses and information systems per se. Now, if uh, four courses are too much, remember that four courses require 16 hours contact time because each course will probably require four hours of your time. Uh, this is just contact time as well as a lot of extra work on the side from you. Um, so if that is a big load for you and maybe you need to do a little bit of work on the side or want to take it a little bit easier, you can do it over three trimesters. And in that case, you will be doing the same eight courses, but you will be doing it over three 
trimester, three quarters in the first trimester, then three quarters in the second trimester, and then two quarters in the last trimester. If you need any help with uh, language, we also have language development modules to help you with English. If you need any help with your maths, we have a specialist maths courses to put you up to speed with your maths. So all of these courses are offered to all of our Griffith uh, College students so that they can get the best um, you know, of experience while they're here, as well as the best results that you um, can get while you're studying with us. Now, the once you have gone on to university, you will be uh, able to go into more than one program. So that's basically you know you have a big choice because as i've said before the area of information technology is so broad that you can really um you know take your peek as to what kind of job you want to have in the end the the vast majority of our students go on to the bachelor of information technology and you actually can take it in two different campuses at griffith university you can go to the nathan campus which is just not far from where we are here in Mangravat. Or you can go to the Gold Coast, which is a very nice place to live, especially if you like beaches. Um, or you can also do other types of um, bachelors. You can go into the Bachelor of Intelligent Digital Technologies or the Bachelor of Creative and Interactive Media, if you're more interested in those particular areas. Um, the, the reason why the college exists is to actually help those students that need that ex extra bit of help and with certain areas and also to familiarize themselves with the area or, of information technology as well as Australia if you're coming from overseas and to give you that uh, extra starting um, um, you know if you like help or, or push uh, whichever way you like to think about it to get you into your university so that you can sail through and end up doing the job that you want. Now, as I've said before, the area of information technology is so broad that you can basically do so many things. You can end up looking after computer networks. You can end up looking after, um, after data in, in databases. You can end up being a data scientist if you want to. You can end up working in the area of game development. Uh, software development in the area of business and information systems, in the areas of security, so cryptography. So there is just so much work out there. You can end up going to robotics if that's something that you're interested in, um, something that is a bit of a buzzword at the moment. Information um, technology also introduces you into the areas of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So there is just a huge field of work out there um, for anyone who goes into this particular um, area of study. You will certainly be secured a job once you've graduated and gone on to further things in the future. So if you have any questions or you want to see me, as I've said at the beginning, just come to the reception and, and uh, make an appointment or send me an email or send me um, 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 a message and I wish you well. Good luck and thank you.